to the neighboring state of Karnataka, a, a state which is very, very crucial for the BJP considering it's uh, going into elections and is also looking at anti-incumbency. So in all probability, that release of the first list of candidates ahead of polls is going to happen today. It has yet not come out uh, because the BJP yesterday held multiple rounds of meetings to finalize that list of its candidates from Karnataka. Now, sources close to CNN News 18 have uh, told us that all the meetings went in vain as the leaders could not reach out and reach to a consensus. In another major development, we've also been told that uh, K.S. Ishwarappa has now quit electoral politics. He's decided to retire. Remember, he was previously seeking a ticket for his son from Shivamoga city seat. Meanwhile, as the BJP central leadership contemplates replacing senior MLAs or ask them to contest from a new seat, several senior MLAs have made a beeline to BS Yadurappa's residence in Bengaluru. Many of them are requesting Yadurappa to ensure that they are not dislodged from their existing seats. Kanadiga, yahagi janta, ye sab dekh rahi hai. Aur aap dekhenge jab parinam aayenge. तो चप्पे चप्पे पर कमल खिल रहा होगा और ये जो हाथ है जो गलत लोगों के साथ मिल रहा है इनको भी जवाब जनता दे एंड वी गेटिंग सम मोर ब्रेकिंग न्यूज एन इंपॉर्टेंट वन फ्रॉम कर्नाटका इट सेल्फ रिमेंबर आई जस्ट मेंशन हाउ K.S. Ishwarappa has in, uh, announced his quitting electoral politics, his retirement from politics. Now his supporters have gathered in large numbers in front of his residence to convince the MLA to take back his decision. Remember, K.S. Ishwarappa had written to the BJP president, J.P. Nadda, announcing his retirement from electoral politics. His supporters are not too happy about this decision. They are demanding a rollback of the decision. Few of his supporters even expressed their outrage by burning tires near his residence and raising slogans against the BJP High Command, alleging that it is the party that's responsible for this move of Ishwarappas. We had seen a lot of infighting that uh, was pretty much in the offing. Probably that's the reason why the first list of the BJP candidates for uh, the Karnataka Assembly elections is not yet out. There have been too many deliberations and yet there is no list. We've seen how B.S. Yadurappa had also returned after that meeting, even before the conclusion of that meeting. And now the next thing that we hear is Ishwarappa quitting politics. These are visuals from outside his residence with supporters of K.S. Ishwarappa demanding him to take back his decision, which he's already translated to the party high command. And uh, remember, he's also now uh, banking upon the fact that his son is going to be given the Shivamoga city seat. What happens to that uh, is something that only time is going to tell. My colleague Akshara is also joining us on the broadcast. Akshara, this was pretty much in the offing. Ever since that decision was made, announced, there was in all probability this situation uh, that the BJP possibly would have uh, accounted for that would arise because the supporters of Ishwarappa are too many. Uh, well, you see, right after uh, he tendered his resignation, when we told that he'll be quitting uh, electoral part politics, uh, and this was, uh, you know, expect. So, as Bhumai had already told that he'll be experimenting and uh, filling in candidates, and also uh, the Sedurapa also did try to uh, put in with candidates uh, uh, who were in, uh, you know, uh, as you can say, we see whom he favored. So, but uh, as expected, it didn't go well, and uh, Ishwarappa after. Uh, no, understanding that he might not get a ticket uh, from the BJP uh, High Command, he tendered his recognition and said that he'll be putting the politics. And soon after that, uh, I know supporters uh, of course, uh, uh, no supporters in his constituency uh, are now right now protesting in. So, they also stating that they will not let elections take place uh, in that particular Shumaka constituency. So, that's what we are hearing uh, in the video that is seen. So, they also want a uh, now, uh, to take back his decision and contest the election. So, that's what they are demanding right now. Okay. Uh, any any word from the party high command and also anything that we are getting to know on the release of the first list, Akshara? Uh, well, you see, there are a series of meetings that have taken from the past uh, uh, four days. Uh, even now, uh, uh, Amit Shah will also be uh, taking part in a meeting with the top brass of the BJP leaders here in Karnataka. Our court committee is already in a meeting with the 
chief election commission and the parliamentary board uh, so um, the list will be most likely to be out tomorrow and we will get a clear uh, picture about who who are being you know uh, fielded on this particular first list and uh, whose names will be neglected and we are also likely to see other senior leaders of putting electoral politics uh, since uh, you know bjp is trying to new candidates and we might get to see new faces as well okay thank you so much for that akshara and we leave it at that that this could be mounting trouble for the bjp in uh, karnataka head of assembly elections in the state what does the party really have to say about it is something that we have to wait and watch out for that's it for